Oh, that was fast. Hello. I'm still eating because my DoorDash just got here, but I'll still start momentarily. Hold on. The game is gone. Also, I like the intros because now I have the opportunity to show you music I like, so. This is Drulo. Bon Voyage, as you can see in the upper corner. <clears throat> okay, we're playing, a, I think, a pretty popular game. Let me just go ahead and pause the music. I don't turn that anymore. I think it's pretty well known. It's, um, six, seven years old, I think. And it's another game. It kind of falls into the Detroit Become Human category where I've watched it. But I, I kind of remember, like, I, I, I think I remember a decent amount of the story. But still, don't, like, spoil stuff, because that's lame. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. And also, uh, feel free now. Let me just pause music. Feel free now to leave, um, or at any point, but I'm looking now and I'll jot them down. Any story games you know of that would be cool to play? Because <clears throat> um, I like doing them. I don't know, it's nice, because it, it, it almost feels like I'm watching with you to an extent, but also it's different from just reacting to content. So yeah, if you know any games, whether it's like Detroit Become Human or like Firewatch or whatever else, my fear is we already played such a good game with Detroit, which I am going to play it again on stream, but it's so good. And it's like, how are we going to top that on stream? But um, I'm looking forward to this and I'm eating French fries, so excuse that. But um, yeah, so I want to do, if you watched a couple months ago, I did like a PUBG marathon sort of where every day I streamed PUBG for, was it five days or four days? So I want to do that this week, Monday through Friday. And today's like bonus day, I guess. Yeah, uh, I've heard of Life is Strange. I've never seen that. <clears throat> is that, um, it's like apocalyptic or something? I don't know. Duck Life 3. I'll just say them all out loud so then after the stream I can watch and listen and then write them down. Um, yeah. Because I haven't been motivated at all. <laughs> I haven't done, like, anything in four days. I've <laughs> Which is bad. I kind of need to do work. So I thought if I add a little bit just the slightest bit of consistency to my week, maybe. Maybe that's what I need. Um, and so I will do that in the form of streaming. So I'm thinking like, sh oh, also I'm gonna try um, doing shorter streams just to see if the retention's different, if viewers, per so you'll be able to let me know at the end of the stream. Is it better to have just a four or five hour stream instead of an eight or nine hour stream? Um, because I was kind of thinking, like, think of Stardew Valley, like, if you over, if you work too hard and then you go to sleep late in Stardew, you wake up and you have less energy. So maybe it's like that in real life, too. So maybe I'd be able to do more if I pace myself more. We'll see. Um, oh, I realized was, if you ever want to make content or if you do, I think it, it's surprisingly helpful to, uh, like, pr uh, I guess it's just self-care. I don't know, this This is probably so obvious, but if you're going to stream, make yourself presentable as if, or if you're going to make a video, I do it for both, just act like you're going to go to uh, do something, not in your house. Because let's say you're going to sit at home and play games all day. You don't need to get ready. And so when you start making content at home, you're like, well, I don't need to get ready. But if you... It, like if you take a shower it doesn't matter what time of schedule or whatever but if you take a shower if you brush your teeth if you shave uh, you like use mouthwash you like make yourself you like put on deodorant it makes a surprising difference in um your motivation so i'm sure it's like the if you google how to be motivated it's probably the first thing that shows up but i don't know i thought that's worth um sharing which also, I, did, I actually did not shower, so I didn't even follow my own instructions. Anyway, hello, Klein. Hello, Rin. Jack. Swagman. Swag. Wolf. I already said wolf, didn't I? Hin. Ma. S. M. Bane. Welcome back. Let's begin, shall we? <clears throat> Hold on. 
Test, test. You're going to hear an echo for a minute. All right, that's good. Hello, Herp Time. Lena. But yeah, apparently this is like a five hour game, so buckle up. Let me know if the audio is all good. The year is 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are drinking out with your pals. You approach her. I don't remember this. You are drunk. So what? So what's your, you know, major? Or oh, you're pretty. You, you're pretty. Um, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says, call, coolly, coolly. <clears throat> you are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. All right, nice. Riz herping, everyone. Motion blur, not my favorite, but you can see our legs. It's a good sign. I'll try to make my motions not crazy so we don't get nauseous. Also, just a warning, I like to explore a lot. I know I'm supposed to go to the truck. I want to see what's back here. I can't jump if you're wondering. <laughs> I maybe she was also drunk, so it's just a match made in heaven. Yeah, I don't know how. I think it's all first person, so you could listen to it. I don't know, but I won't blame you if you leave. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers. Yeah, she's a drunk too. Out on the deck. <laughs> you drink beer just about everywhere. <laughs> anyway, life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it home to, uh, she wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Um, I want to leave some options up to you, and there's no timer. Should we get the beagle or the shepherd? I think I would pick... I don't know which I would pick. Probably the shepherd. Okay, Shepherd it is. Mayhem's an excellent dog. <clears throat> I shouldn't be eating while trying to narrate. He loves wrestling with you in the park. And goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and a pet. All rolled it. Well, no, that's just a pet, I think, but okay. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. This is reading practice for me. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? Not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, 
a couple little idiots. Um, let me know. Should we have kids? I say... Mm. So far, all we know about them is that they're drunk. So I should probably say no, but I'm thinking yes. Oh, you're all saying no. Yeah, let's have kids, bro. <clears throat> she looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you sure? You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? I think that's the wrong answer. I don't know, there's probably not wrong answers. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Pretty. Where'd my backpack go? Oh wait, this is like five years later, Never mind. I'm sorry, I have to walk over here. You know what? I'm not apologizing. I want to. High fire danger today. Oh, I can zoom in. There's like a 70% chance you've had a wallpaper from this game on like your phone or something. <clears throat> Hello, Ethan. Two forks. Where are we? I don't know. I don't know how to read maps. Don't forget to check in. You're in layer country. Warning, the trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks, right? See ya. Mop those floors. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call, and you're worried and getting angrier by the minute. Why are you getting angry? She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh... Should we get mad or ignore him? These don't seem like the best options. Hey, we're 50-50 right now. <clears throat> Alright, we'll ignore- I thought you were gonna try and screw me up and just make me be the worst person. I don't know if I know my aim yet. You don't touch each other all night. Sad. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry. And ask her about her- and ask her about her evening- oh, and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Hello, Jasmine. 1981, so we're what, five years in? Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. I pose and flex like He-Man or Frolic, like Victoria's secret model. Yeah, that's what I would do, so I'm not even letting you pick. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Ooh, color scheme. Looks like the thumbnail. Can I turn off motion blur? Yeah, let's turn down motion blur to low. 
Would anything else help with nausea? 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 Go World Detail Ultra. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, that looks better. Hey, yeah, this is my first playthrough. <clears throat> God rays. Two forks, we go. Nineteen eighty two. During the summers you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night, who is our German shepherd. Is he that just joined? There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Cringe. Mayhem runs away. May me moo frick d dog Julia yells, I'm not a very good actor. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Um, yeah, let's beat him up. I assume you'd all pick that. I'll just have you pick, because I think I pretty much know well what you'd pick, so. Based on Detroit Become Human. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy into a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Literally 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Waylaid. Waylaid. I've never heard that word. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. That sounds so boring. The music's getting louder. Let me know if it's too loud. Uh, it's not all this wordsy. This is just the intro. It's a great job. Associate... I already said that. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Um, I'd go Connecticut, I guess. But that's not an option. Okay, which one? Let me know. I don't actually know here. I was going to say no job, just because it seems like a lame job, but okay. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if, she, if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh, so it's not... Oh yeah, 2,000 miles. You can't commute in a car 2,000... Okay. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having, quote, an episode, unquote. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say maybe you guys should talk about it, should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine to try and forget. <laughs> Which one? Uh, I'm eating five guys, and it's good. It's The fries are not... Under, last stream, the fries were not cooked. Yeah, we could do both. That's true. You're pretty 50-50 on that one. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia may be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Okay, so this is a story about me in... Ten, wait, when am I 41? In 18 years? You both just... 18? Wait, how old am I? You both decide to keep it a secret for now. That's what happens when you play too many games.
I, I just want to start screenshotting things for my computer wallpaper. Like, this is nice. Also, I can't move. Okay. Can I show this? Wait. <laughs> Wait, can I show this on stream? People? <laughs> okay. I know I watched playthroughs of this on YouTube. Anyway, May... <laughs> May... <laughs> it's getting older. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's got silver hair down his back and shows down, slows down at night. You, <laughs> I, I don't. Okay, you and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends. <laughs> I don't remember that. Julia's aff affliction gets worse. And oh, 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by police. She's devastated. It's just a little bit too loud for me. Okay. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I got the monitor. I got the... Anyway, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Oh, that's the good, that's the good day. Okay. Other days you get a stranger. I was like, that's kind of mean, but that's just how they roll. She pulls you into bed to make love. After, please don't depict it in the next scene. But after five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten her day. She gets worse. Yeah, so it all went downhill when we got the German Shepherd, I guess. I don't know. You spent, actually, I guess the German Shepherd probably helped in that attack. <clears throat> you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Uh, do we decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or are we determined to take care of her, or let's just say, facility or care? I need to give you words, as for votes. Kill the dog. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, um... I'm trying to think what I would do here. I just don't think I'm capable. I think it would be a cope to think that I'm capable of this. Move home. Move home, home, home. All right. Let's see what we can do. I mean, if I had early dementia and became like that, I wouldn't want to be a burden on someone like that. Send me to the ranch. Just kill me, honestly. I look forward to going outside <laughs> when it's warmer. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. Chair or rock? Both sound like serious hazards, but... Assuming there's a bathroom, I would honestly pick chair. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I thought you'd all say let her sleep, but I guess we're on the same wavelength. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. 
It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. I'm getting better at the reading. Whoop. One night you're stopped as a, at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a 0 0.1. What's the legal? 0.08, I think. And you're taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. That's, that's kinda, I kind of appreciate that. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Ooh, I can go over here. Okay, the, the music for me is just kind of loud, so I'll turn the music down. And then turn the other sounds up. Does the moon ever actually look that big? Why is why is it the that the moon sometimes looks bigger? Is is it literally just closer? I don't actually know. I thought this was gonna be a happy game. Not remind me that my grandpa's gonna die soon. <laughs> uh, I don't. I think it's a happy game. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Not if I ignore it. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hold on, I'm looking around. I would love to li I, I, there. Your lights are on. I like the idea of being high up. Feels very safe. Got some meaty palms. Hold left shift. Oh, okay. That's a weird wait. Oh, that's weird. I actually have to like do the stuff. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's I think it's a little too quiet. right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from oh, I can something. Throw stuff. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's Epic. a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep? Forever. Sure, buddy. Okay, it's not a horror ahead. game. No background frequency, red flag. Well, we're not that far away from each other. I'm pretty because she said she could see my lights. Okay, so I wasn't listening. You're just gonna wait me out on this. Ugh, fine. Oh. Whoops. But not I'm making a decision a is making a decision. Have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Let's see if we can see her. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. 
April 28th. Tomorrow's the big day. Was going to drive up today, but there's a guy coming by from the university to grab another box of books, and he was a real pain in the butt about doing it before I left. Means I get to catch the Nuggets game tonight. Nuggets. Not that the Phoenix isn't going to take this series in three... This series in three straight. Hiked last night, got lost a lot on the way here, and then met my boss, Delilah. Real piece of work. Hopefully we don't have to talk much. Maybe I'm just grumpy from the lack of sleep. Didn't get a wink last night and was pretty sure there was a bear sniffing around my tent. Oh, so it was a multi-day hike to get here. That makes sense. <clears throat> I kind of want a typewriter now. I was thinking about it uh, since I'm taking my like journaling offline and I don't like writing on paper. A typewriter would actually be kind of cool. I feel like everyone does it for um, the aesthetic, which is fine, but I legitimately just want a secure way to to type like that just yeah i might actually do it do i have to uh, i have to oh there we go chlortox my favorite midnight snack i don't know I happen to have to pick up this up later. Wait, is this why babies throw things? Like, they finally gain the ability to throw objects, and so they just start throwing all the objects? Because I'm like, ooh, I can throw? <laughs> Woo! Makes you think ahead about what you Oh, I delete a lot. I forgot how much I edit what I write. Oh, it'll be interesting to see the different iterations. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, Accurate. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Yes, I believe that's called a globe. Well, I guess it's not. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language. Gordon right? Ramsay? Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I, I don't know which way is west. <laughs> I don't see it. Maybe we need to go outside. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? I literally don't. Okay. West. Seriously, are you seeing this? No, I don't see it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see it. I see. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Closest ranger is two days away. That sounds actually pretty cool. Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember oh, right. Oh, no. I have to actually read there a map. One in the supply box on the way. I've Code never used one of these. One, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> okay. Oh, this seems kind of hard, actually. <clears throat> I was on the whole like being alone thing um because uh, obviously i've screwed around in the woods a lot like growing up the only fear i ever had was the fear of coming across another person so i feel like you're pretty set if it's a two-day hike for a ranger because anyone else living out here they're probably not gonna but like if anyone's like squatting in the woods it's not really squatting it's the woods that's what it's for but Find rope in cash box 306. Okay. So 
I guess it is cheating because it shows me exactly where I am on the map. <laughs> Here, the name isn't registering on screen. Christina's Amazing Animals. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. To 82. I hope to see you in the Discord server. Oh, yeah. Thanks. The, uh, a few more people joined uh, yesterday. So I appreciate that. And I got to update the count. Because I don't know how to automate it. Yeah, automate it. YouTube doesn't have as many features as Twitch when it comes to overlays. Okay, where they go? Go this way. Yeah, yeah, this is right. I don't think this is, this doesn't seem eerie to me. It just seems like nature. There's like these certain spots I would go to as a teen where you could no longer hear the road. Cause it's kind of rare to find around here areas where you can't hear a road. Cause even nature trails are often by highways. But once I got just far enough to not hear the road, that was always cool. <clears throat> And I didn't have trails to follow. I got lost a couple times, but never for more than like an hour. So I don't think that counts as getting lost. Maybe that wasn't safe. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. I, uh, I have a Twitch. Um, it's just go herping. I don't... I mean, I watch. I found the supply box. But I don't stream there. Great. I might do multi-streaming of it. I just don't want to complicate things more than I need to. Oh, maybe I shouldn't eat it. I might need that later. <clears throat> Can I bring it with me? Pine cone. Why is there a pine cone in here? Whatever. I'm hungry. I eat it. Okay, so I'm copying information from the map. Uh, 86, so that's what, three years ago? Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up this lookout and put some stuff in the box. Two dollars from Basil. Hi. Hello, Basil. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for your two bucks. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, uh found... Oh, found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the part. But let's get fricked when I'm back. Okay. Deal with whoever's setting the fireworks. So that was West. Hmm. Do I go? I wonder if I go. I wonder if I can turn around. Also, if I ask a question, you don't, don't actually answer the question. I might be like, which way do I go? But you don't, like, don't tell me. Just let me suffer. Okay, so west is this way. I think I backtrack a little bit, and then I go left. Right? I'm right. Oh, wait, wait. This doesn't seem right. You know what? I'm just going to go back to the... 
Okay, I'm kind of lost, honestly. <laughs> How did I get here? I'm off trail, aren't I? I don't know what the red lines mean. Oh wait, can I just follow the sound? I don't have anything to clear it. Oh, I forgot to send the Discord notification. I just got one to my phone and I was like, did I do that yet? Oh, I can jog. I thought I had the rope. Did I leave the rope at the box? Oh, here we go. Took out my wedding ring or band, sorry. Hey, what the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Where'd the fireworks go? Report to Meadow. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. So compasses are useful. I always heard that compasses aren't actually that handy. Oh, I guess it's in a in a being lost situation, but I have a map, so. So far, the only unrealistic thing is no mosquitoes. That's all I can ever think. And no spider webs. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Save for later. It's in my bag. Oh, they left. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. Well, oh yeah, I guess not. I'm not against like public drinking, but come on, you can at least bring it back with you. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. 
confiscate them. Actually, can I? Oh, I can clean it up. I mean, hey, I was hired to take care of the forest. See you, Asher. Too many messages get held for review. Might need to add another mod. Can you stomp out an entire fire? I mean, I guess it's done. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Honestly, this seems... It, well, the I'm not saying this is a joke. The one issue is there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't... I'd be uncomfortable not being able to make like stream or make content uh, i think i would though if it's short like if someone out there offered this to me i'd probably take it over the summer i think okay it is cringe i think to play music when you're like out in the woods like this wait where'd the bra go did i just take it am i panty theft Oh, it's right there. Lag. <laughs> uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? I like the idea of being uh, physically alone in the woods, but I would like a connection, yeah, to like viewers. Honestly, they're minding their own business. Wait, can I throw it in the water? Thank you. Now leave us alone. You're a creep. Total creep. You, you <laughs> asshole. Fight another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Aside from the fireworks, they weren't doing anything bad. Wait, where did they just go? Hey, that go okay? Did they just drown? You there, Henry? Hey. Oh, there you are. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. <laughs> Thanks for going down there. And the music was distracting. Came out here to enjoy. Um, now I'm trapped. Can I go in the water actually? It's fine, I'll put it back. Oh, what happened? Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Oh, I went really far.
I don't know if I can sniff the panties. Wait, weren't they teenagers? <laughs> that could be that could be nineteen, right? Personally, I like following water when I'm in the woods. I don't know. I feel like skinny dipping is better in theory. Just, I mean, like, if you've dealt with leeches, then you probably know. Like, leeches are bad enough when they're on my legs. I don't need them any higher so, up. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um... I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. So every single character drinks in this game so far. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh, to a minimum. I don't think she's anyway, she's fine. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. I can't look at the map while walking. I know I can run, but I kind of don't want to. heard some thunder yeah i've got eyes on a storm out to the north well that's bad right because of the lightning it just means we'll be busy hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning uh, i don't think i should have gone this way The problem with map. Oh, okay, I guess maps do show terrain, but um, they don't consider elevation that much. Flashlight, I'll take it, right? Well, I don't really... Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. I feel like I shouldn't be What's here. I need to go back. Here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hmm. Well, I'm supposed to be watching that... ...the storm. Hello! That didn't work. I don't hear an echo. 
This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can just, find another one to get your caving kicks in. Just oh, buy an angle grinder. Home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Oh. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. Just what hiking, it? right? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing, and people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> I don't know how to get back. Parkour. They made like from Minecraft. <laughs> this flashlight sucks. trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Henry's kind of annoying. I don't like the way he talks. Why is the outhouse need a generator? So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. What's well, wrong with that? Number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. It's a trap. I spoiled the story. She has pee pee. Can I use it? No, I can just open it. That's the truest form of <laughs> don't didn't ask. Why is there boss music? Oh, is that someone up here? I he heard a door close, right? Oh. Wait, wouldn't they still be up here? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Oh, 
Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. It's trashed. I mean, I did like half of this, didn't I? Wait, I might need this stuff. I don't. I probably shouldn't throw it down. Okay, I put in a call. Oh shoot! Do you have any idea who would have done this? Why would I? I mean, probably the. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about dude, who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Man, I felt safe up here. I need you to feel safe out here. Wouldn't she have been able to see? Oh, I guess she can see the lights, but not details. Where is she? Anyway, I hope you can sleep. I'll talk to you in the morning. I think I keep missing dialogue because I'm not talking to her back. Hey, wake up. Okay, okay. She's so, like, kind of, she's a little awake, bit annoying. Awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? I need something to do. You Hello, Phoenix. Can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Do I have a pillow? It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But Hank's rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, it's like me trying to make small talk on PUBG. Um, oh, did I write more? Wait. May 2nd. Sleep is going to be a real problem. Without making this a list of all that's happening all of the time... Wait, what? Sleep is going to be a real problem without making this a list of all that's happening all the time for Henry up from the future. I don't know why I'm having trouble with this sentence. This was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Going to have to figure out today because last night wasn't good and I'm freaking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any Jules dreams. Oh, his wife, Julie. <clears throat> since I was sleeping in a new place. But sure enough, during the 30 minutes, I fell asleep and 5 a.m. we were back at the beach in Melbourne. <clears throat> well, yeah, I don't know. For me, changing location didn't change my nightmares. <clears throat> Let's go, gamers. Do I have everything I need? I guess I have my bag. Propane. Alright. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. <clears throat> I don't remember where the cave was. This makes the most sense. 
Oh wait, it's, what's the rest you're doing? No, he's just sitting there, right? Why, was he kneading or something? <clears throat> a canyon is like a, like a big gap in the ground, right? I like the mist. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? <clears throat> See, Phoenix, since I... Hold on. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. This dialogue hey, is... Hold on a sec? Insufferable. Sure. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Some little cinematic bars. Hey, again. sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute. And, um, sorry, but but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Look, if this is my only contact, she I gotta said, talk to her. I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. I am completely in the wrong area. On the radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I think I'm just gonna go to the lake again, and then go that way. Uh, what I was gonna say was to Phoenix. I feel like I can make fun of you since you're like a more usual watcher. Because wh why, why do people always ask what game I'm playing? <laughs> like it's every. Why is the rope not attaching? Do I not have one? Oh, it broke. I forgot. Duh, I can't go that way. Like every stream, people ask what game it is, even though it's always in the title and it's always in the description twice. Because it's at the bottom of the description and at the top. Anyway, um, I think it's funny then. But yeah, I feel like I should be honest with, uh, not Julia, what's her name? I forgot the lady's name, Delilah. About to start off on the honest foot. So it says this view, I can't do anything about it, I just look at it. I'm ignoring everyone. I thought the hardest part of this game would be reading, but it turns out it's finding stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take that center route. I wonder if this is restocked? I don't think- but nobody's come by, right? Let's see. Yeah, no. As he doesn't have to do any activism. <laughs> we don't talk about that here. <laughs> Where's the path? Is this it? Is 
No. I'm just gonna stream the game and that'll that'll be it. It's like a I don't know. Five, probably like eight PM or something Eastern. Maybe nine. Well, I still can't even clear this. Can I report it? Like, ask her? I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. I I don't know how to navigate forests. I don't know how I did this. I would... You can see it in videos. I would just screw off and go off trail. How did I... I guess I just never went terribly far. I don't know. I guess I have to go all the way back and just go a different way. I wish I could run with the map up. I don't remember jumping over that. Okay, let's try the other way. So we're going south now. We gotta go north. Everything is so screenshotable. You better not be taking screenshots right now, NFT style. Oh, I can say more about the outhouse. <clears throat> I like the outhouse and the rustic. I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same. Woo. Okay, now I'm going the right way. Never seen a bear like I lay in, a, in woods, just behind glass. I wish the this was a little smoother. Okay, that was a bit smooth. It's a little jarring animation wise. It looks like Hello Neighbor. I haven't watched Hello Neighbor, but it definitely looks similar. Or played it. The kind of lowish, lowish poly. Like it's not low poly, but I like it. I, I think I downloaded Blender after I first watched this in like 2016. I should be able to see the lines soon. Okay, that's probably it. I am looting lots of boxes. So far this is borderline peaceful and boring my real-time review. I 
I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Where does this take place? I forgot. Are we in Washington or something? <clears throat> Excuse my ignorance, but why do they make the lines go all back and forth? Just do a straight line, right? Oh yeah, it's PUBG in the sense that it's a running simulator. No, it looks like a uh, township tail. AKA the vomit comet of VR. I can't play it without getting sick. <clears throat> I have to take Dramamine just to play certain um, VR games. A turtle? Oh my God, we're herping. Can I throw it? I can adopt it? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Well, no. My reptile days are behind me. I'm... Yoink! <laughs> Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Why am I reporting well, this? Well, Henry, if Bump. you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Mayhem Jr. <laughs> Perfect. I think so. Okay, I'm stealing it. Which I'm pretty sure is illegal in a national park, but... Yeah, I mean, you can't really enforce laws here, can you? Do I have to get up there? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. I mean, when I, w like, when I could, well, I was like, yeah. It is kind of stand, like, while you go herping, you oftentimes just shove animals in your backpack. Like, if you're focused on the photography that day, you just, you bring a bag, you shove it in your bag, you, you bring a like a snake bag, shove it in your backpack, and then you go find some nice lighting, because you can't haul out studio lighting. And then you go back and release it. But If anything, it's more like picking up like Craigslist animals. Because it's like you're out all day, eight hours of Craigslist pickups, and then you go get dinner like at a restaurant, and you just bring reptiles into the in your bag. Anyway, um, I might have to... Do I have to go around? Probably. I don't know how to actually get there. Wait, are the dots instructions on how how I should get there? Is that what that is? Does it literally give me GPS? Oh, I think it is. Minecraft tree. No, I think it's just showing where I walked.
Maybe there's something in here. Dave, hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day, figured you'd be out here? Out, I figured you'd be out near the canyon, helping the, those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co co-workers, you know? Amiga, amigos professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case and go time traveling, Rance is your guy. But I'm not great with life stuff, Ron. Who keeps putting pine cones in these? Why even bother locking it? I guess I have to go up there. Another beer can. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same Oh, brand, I can't get back everything. up there. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. How do I click that? There we go. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Mm, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, because the <laughs> thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These oh, idiots panties. are going to pay. Do they realize this is how yeah, people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost legal. costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Are the, I guess the beer cans are like a trail of breadcrumbs. <laughs> I mean, they're knocking one out like every 50 feet. I used to have a little radio set and I would um, just walkie talkies. I would just like scan the different channels. I don't really know how radios work, but I remember there were these two guys like speaking Spanish back and forth and I didn't know what they were saying. And I kept just interrupting their call. I was like 13 or something. And they kept changing channels, trying to like have a conversation. I don't know why they were talking over radio, but I just kept bouncing channels, following them around and annoying them. Get pranked. You know, I don't really want to hunt down teenage girls in the woods. That doesn't really seem right. But it is my objective, and I am just following orders. I'm 
Surely they wouldn't be back at the lake, right? Well, so we've got the basin, the lake. Also, if you're wondering, I cannot fall off. It's impossible. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. We do a little ransacking. It's cool. I have the, the heating off. I'm kind of cold. I'm going to turn it off. It's making my nipples hard. Sorry. <laughs> it's true though. Um, do we got anything? Okay, well I have to destroy that because I now have evidence well, I of myself. Am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh pack came with one of those cardboard single use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Yeah. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. This game is cursed. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. But they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm. Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I don't know what I think of the game. What's your current review of the game? Are you enjoying yourself watching this? I'm hoping it picks up. I'm a little bit bored. <laughs> Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that. Not Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talk. It's kind of hard to read this handwriting. Heard him talking to himself more than usual or Lowe's. Okay, who cares? I don't know, if I was playing by myself, I probably would have <laughs> stopped by now. That's terrible, though. I'm curious, though. Surely it's... I mean, I know it gets Delilah. better. What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Leave the girls alone. Well, Having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't look electric. I mean, there would have to be warnings on it. <clears throat> 
We found um, Area 52. I mean, look, this part's so easy. What's the point of making it so tall if you could, anyone could jump over this part? Hmm. It's a slow burn, but I think it's worth it because you get to know Delilah. Delilah has one of those like quirky, I'm not like the other girl personalities. That's my current takeaway. And I don't like the main character, he's annoying. <laughs> but I hate when people like do let's plays and they're just like cynical the whole what time. Um, shut up. This burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Can you not use the word sloppy when talking about these young teenage girls? I don't really get the... I don't know. This doesn't seem like a good use of taxpayer funds did your wife's illness have to anything pay for my to salary right now. Job or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that. Is the stream lagging? Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. <laughs> um. Why don't they just get a chopper out there and some search dogs. I guess I just have nothing better to do, right? Oh, not okay. It's the first time I saw a trap. I mean, it's not as important as Detroit if, like, oh no, you missed me walking through the woods for 30 seconds versus, oh no, Connor's about to die for the 11th time. I'm thinking about what I, for the next playthrough, I decided I'm going to make Connor and Hank besties just as kind of a fan service because that seems to be what people wanted. And um, probably go the violent route with Marcus and be more violent with Kara and a little more risky because the, the first time I was just trying to protect Alice no matter what, but I want to take more risk wow. next time. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Nothing you say is funny, Hank. Is he designed, is he written to be unlikable? Never mind, people probably say that about me, so I shouldn't be mean. It's it's whatever if there's lag, I guess. I don't know what causes it. My Wi Fi is fine. Wait, am I just going back to the tower? Oh, okay, wait. I am. I truly don't know where these girls are. I kind of just want. Don't, okay, don't tell me yet. I Maybe they're just back at the lake. Why is there boss music again? Yeah, I think we gotta get to the lake.
R well, the river. Oh, we haven't been here, so. It's considered a mystery game. Hey, do you see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke. Chemtrail? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Well, you I don't know what a medicine wheel is. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. Where's there are the lots medicine of small wheel? ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. This whole game is about finding yourself. So he's got to find himself and be less... or more cool. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give him hell. Oh my god, this is still the teenage girls? I thought I had something different to do, finally. I still don't know what a medicine wheel is. The circle of rocks. Oh, I was looking for like a little medical device. <laughs> okay, how do I... Okay, I see. Medicine wheel. Well. Okay, I see it now. So, I'm at the medicine wheel. So, you're near your lookout. Yeah, sure. I'm just wandering around in the forest, and I haven't seen one of the Red Eagle cans for miles. Uh, that's a tough one. Why don't you try getting out of the woods so you can get a better view? Find a vista or a lookout point. Okay, I'll try that. I thought I was going to the smoke plume. Or I guess it's all related. Try getting out of the woods. What does that even mean? And why do you, like... I have to be in the perfect spot to, to get a... Why am I so... I'm, <laughs> why am I being so irritated by this game? Like, do you see how... Yeah, see? See how it just popped up? Like, that's a, something for me to do. But I gotta be looking in the perfect spot. And it's making me nauseous. Oh my god. Okay. Do you see anything from yours? Like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. So this is, they're like southwest, mostly west. It looks like there's a way for me to get through, right? If I go south. Yeah, it is this way. Why couldn't I get through there? I'm going to do mosquito prep early. I don't use a uh, pesticide or anything, but the stupid little Chinese mosquitoes, it takes just an ounce of water for them to basically take over. So my mistake the first year was like I had a couple tubs sitting out. Surely I can get through here, right? And like, even just the, like your gutters having leaves in them, that's enough for mosquitoes to breed. And of course, I used to breed the mosquitoes on purpose for that's yeah. For other reasons but um yeah i did the opposite and it's 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 much better so just remove all water from your property the problem is if you if you have neighbors 
So luckily my neighbors are just far away enough where if they do something on their property to breed mosquitoes, they won't come to mine. I'm talking about mosquito repellent because I'm bored. I've never met someone named Delilah. I need Delilah's in the chat. How many people are here? I'm kind of curious. We're chilling. Okay. Um, can someone give me a hint? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really feel like I'm going to figure this part out. <laughs> I know I'm like, don't tell me, but I kind of just want to be told where to go. <laughs> So, I'm at the medicine wheel. So, you're near your lookout? Yeah, sure. I'm just wandering around in the forest, and I haven't seen one of the Red Eagle cans for miles. Yeah, we already said all this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking for whatever... Pr hey, if this can just be like a chatting with... Or, not chatting with. Uh, a just chatting stream. Give me some talk. <laughs> Walk the perimeter and find a path to dig. Okay, that's a very... um. That sounds like a pre-written hint. Like, you only give away a little bit of information. Find the teens. <laughs> you find the teens. Have you played this, Ethan, or you just seen it? And I know, um... No, that's a good hint. I know I, w I literally threw the girl's radio in the water, but now I'm kind of wishing there was some music because I'm tired of hearing the same wind, wind MP3 over and over. <clears throat> I can't, and there it is. <clears throat> I wonder if my flashlight runs out of battery. Oh, wait, is this it? Wait. Why? Why is it like this? Okay. Still lagging? It's still red for me. Like, it dropped down to 3,000 kilobytes a second. Normally, it's at 12 to 15 for a smooth stream. I'm going to head down to the lake and have a look around. That's the last place I saw them. Roger. Yeah, it's like lowering the bitrate or something. I don't know what the technical terms are. On the hunt for some kids. My name is Hank. And I've spent the past eight hours of my day trying to find these children. Why did it take me so long to find that? Oh my god, why, why did it go away? Rope hook? What? Oh, it's over there. Um, yeah, I'll stop pausing for lag. I'll just wait for you to tell me if it's bad. Also, welcome back, Chrome OS Tech. Why is your name Chrome OS Tech? Do you make, like, Chromium videos? Because or... I remember reading one of your comments saying how, like, Google sucks. I don't want to put words in your mouth. It was something about the Google hack. And I was like, that's funny, their name is Chrome OS and they don't like Google. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the smoke? What time is it? I keep looking out because it's like darker every time I look out the window. Oh, 5.30. Missing person, Mitch, 31, 62, 185 pounds, short brown hair. Mitch was last seen around the lake, 1981. He was first reported missing. Firewood. I'm using, I use op for personal, I use opera, and then while I'm streaming, I use Brave. So that way you like, if I accidentally show my history, it's. I'm officially chrome free, even though don't they both run on chromium? Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? No comment. I cannot respond. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Op on the crappy little laptop I got, Opera's the only thing that can run. <laughs> and even then it barely does. to the south of here um mexico is this some sort of riddle i just have a nice view to the south snap you know, trees and mountains forever do i have a camera sound well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by chimney rock lookout but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain What did she say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not taking this game very... I want... okay. You said I missed something. Um, Alright, well. I'll follow the water down and then back up if I need to. Wait, did I just go in a circle? Yes, I did. I'll go towards the waterfall. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to record this stream. Yeah, I'll start recording.
Hmm, why is there a plume of green? Where the frick is the waterfall? Oh my god, I'm lost. You know, maybe the game's good and I just cannot navigate. Have you thought about that, me? I'm talking to myself. Yeah, my channel died when Stan died. He was the lifeblood. Oh, well, okay, I guess that's something for me now. Yeah, I just, I know the, the, the videos are actually doing, like, when I say it's dead, I'm joking. Um, the videos are doing well and stuff. You, you're enjoying them. It's getting good feedback. I just, and, and it's a pretty good formula. I just haven't done them. <laughs> like, I could have had two more videos up by now in the past week. I just didn't do it. For some reason. I don't know why. back to the waterfall how do wait i am so turned around oh well maybe this way but yeah i don't know i'm just just a motivation thing G uh, give me your motivation tips oh we found it don't say drugs don't say alcohol, because maybe this is just an anti-drinking game. I hate when games have, like... Oh, my sheets. Ah, found my sheets! The girls stole them? Yeah, but the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Alex, you navigate just... peeing in real life. You floaned... Hey, just look around, okay? See what the Shut up, Delilah. I'm reading chat. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Snap. That's going in my evidence compilation. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, Do I it. guess. That is some dedication. Dangerous hunks. Nay, or tame your hunk with our hunk, top hunk tips. Yeah, it's like handsome Squidward. You want them, we got them. Top hunks. Make up to make out. Pants, they're back. Okay. Cringe. Save this for my spank bank. Snap. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take isn't it my job here to like help people and not destroy? They're literally camping in the middle of nowhere. Wait, nope. Dear Psycho, I hope you're flipping happy. We're leaving and we're going. Do I have a voice for this? Oh, I don't have a female voice set up. And we're going to find the police or whatever and <laughs> they're like a 40 year old try to write like a teenager and tell them about how crew creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff oh and stealing panties is gross out what you're probably a mental flipping axe murderer and are so going to jail i hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks <laughs> I'm on the girl's side here, honestly. <laughs> oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? When feeling unmotivated or depressed, not towards. Hello. Not working. To Henry, are you not working towards your goals won't make you feel better. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. I don't have any goals. <laughs> how do I? Okay, that's the better question. How do I find goals? Because I don't have any.
you there? Honestly. I mean, I did, but I they're all done. They either failed, which is fine. I'm fine with the failure, or they succeeded. And now I don't have any left. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I, I'm just I'm just glad they're gone. It's probably the best case scenario for us, and now we can just get back to work. Thank you. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. That day was too long. Like, I could make up a goal, but... Welcome back, Michaela. It has been a while. It's good. Hopefully this game starts picking up, because cause the game's been a little bit boring. <laughs> hey, Henry? What yeah. now? Um, I want to turn off my radio. What do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I don't know who any of these people are. This uh, is which one should I do? Burnt, Tom, or who is the other Hard. one? Raleigh, because I, I don't know who these people are. I'll leave it up to you. Oh, you got the, oh, uh, that's cool. Flag Marshal Day. That sounds pretty fun. <clears throat> Well, not the weather. I'm cozy. Well, I have my heating off, but still nice and cozy inside. Every time he reads a comment, the walkie talkie interrupts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bert. Okay. Raleigh. I'll do Bert. Unless you just don't want to answer. Well, I I'm answering. She's so impatient. Time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh huh. Hey, you asked. Okay. Well. That gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Is there a way to commit suicide God, in this game? Because I want to kill him. Man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, of course, you're drinking. A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? <laughs> That's true. Have people did people say politically correct in the eighties? For a while, yeah. I don't know. I wasn't there. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? I still don't know where she okay. is. Uh, don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. I'm fine. Your eyes, tell me. Yes, I need two hands to pick up a cinder block. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just, you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Delilah's fine. She just keeps interrupting me. <laughs> I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, I don't think she's creepy. She's, um... I think she's, I don't know. She just seems to be trying to be quirky.
All right, let's get to work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this mm. through. Where's the food? That's a good question. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, we just skipped, what, five days? So I'm just doing my job now. Okay, there's the food. Hello, Henry. I Have think it gets nice delivered. Afternoon. Like every few days. It's nice. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed wow, to meet an sucks. aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You're probably the only person that knows I've seen them. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Is that bad? Is that I wouldn't say anything? Oh, I was repelling for no reason. Henry. Henry, wake up. Leave me alone. <laughs> Get this out is of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hmm? Wait, what? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? It, for those of you that just recently joined, Julia is his early dementia having wife that he abandoned. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. I thought it was Delilah. Delilah oh, seems yeah. nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Okay. $4.99 from Tarek 7867. Thank you, Tarek, and welcome back. Is it too to, much of a pain in the ass to bring? Uh, my watch stream. I appreciate that. I'm trying to see what the sticker is. Is that a lemon man? I think it's a lemon it man. Supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that? Oh, work? wow. It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and. I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? 
Yeah, actually. Look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. <laughs> Sympathy I, makes I me sound comfortable. It this way, but her family is taking care of her and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. Where am I going? North to retrieve supplies. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to navigate this. <laughs> um, oh wait, is it this? Wait, did I just come down here? I'm so, I already forgot. I don't think so. I'm trying. I don't... <laughs> it all looks the same, man. Alright, I think this is right. I mean, I know if we've walked over one of these before. You know, <laughs> you know the purpose of the map and the compass is to use the two in conjunction. I have never used either of these devices in my life, okay? But I think I'm on the right track now. Okay, we're good. Yeah, if there's a colored smoke, I gotta run in that case. Does anyone here have a colored smoke grenade in PUBG? And can you tell me how hard it was to get? Also, are you sick of PUBG streams? Because I, I kind of want to stream it more. Oops. So I can steal the other people's food? That's kind of cringe. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? 64, so this is a month later. $4.99 from the Coast Reptiles. I rented the aquarium house for my birthday. Brian's house, the Reptarium. You should come, having a party. Party That's popper. Cool. Wait, the aquarium house. And thank you for the super chat, Michaela. Brian's house, the Reptarium. I reckon I know the name Reptarium. See, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. If I'm probably not allowed there. <laughs> it's kind of far too. That's neat though. On, wait, how far is it? Is it in Michigan? It's kind of far. I don't know. I can be there in spirit. You can um, you can stream it, and then what I can might be tune the in. Fire of the year. But thanks for the super chat. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. I think that's the first party I've ever been invited to. How about that? They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but move it up in the world. I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So we don't fight the fires, we just watch, I guess. So what about no the Lila? Huh? That's so cringe. I'm not. Well, 
We should just call it the big fire, if we think it's going to be. The big fire? Yeah. Well, that is practical. Always my goal. I'm actually amazed we've never used that name. Sometimes the best names are the most obvious. The big fire it is. I'm Delilah's growing on me just because she's able to somehow tolerate this man. And um you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And because you're a drunk. Nice like tonight when it is so disgustingly hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. So she invented refrigerators with the water? I would if I was with you. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. You get a little bit... I mean, uh, come on, he's alone. He's going to be the slightest bit down bad, right? Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. It's dark here. I need to go put the chickens away in a minute. Yeah. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? We've had very shallow conversations. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available. Did I miss something? I feel like they had... Am I that bad at picking up... Oh. Okay, it says literally zero kilobytes. This it's gotta be a bad connection now, right? Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available. Did I miss something? Apparently it's fine. Okay. Also, I don't realize how loud my audio is, sorry. Yeah, but we didn't get any of the, like, romance talk or anything. Okay, you're right, in Inuborg. You're right. But all they they have the, like, the amount of small talk we've had. The, the types of convers like, this is, I have more intimate conversations with just people, like, in an Uber than they've had in the past 64 what? days. I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um, Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I don't see the chemistry. Maybe I've been answering questions in a non... You say she's been flirty. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. We got these radios. We could, um... I guess we're getting flirty now. You know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Okay, there we go. There's, we're getting flirty now. We're set. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds I me, guess I just... hearing reports from Fish and Game about a You're all saying she's been flirty. I haven't picked up a single flirtation. I guess I'm just really bad at... <laughs> oh, has it been saving? I don't know. Problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on? Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east. And, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Hmm, is this an affair? Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, 
Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. What? We already confiscated this stuff. Is it back? I'll wait a just wait a second for people to refresh. I wonder why that happened. Um, I don't know if you just saw it, but it I just reconfiscated the same beer and fireworks at the same camp. Okay. Yeah, I don't the game was like yeah. Oh, I think I was answering this. Uh, let me go back up. Um, oh yeah, we were debating on whether this is a an affair. I think he's. I think he's kind of a widow. Our our husbands who lose their wife is that also a widow? Is that just a woman? Can men be widows? The widowed lady. A man whose spouse died is called the widower. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, so you just said a widower. I've never heard that before. He's essentially a widower, right? Anyway. Okay, we can continue now. She's alive. Physic I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. There's um a channel. Oh, what's it called? Um... Someone will probably know. It's a guy that... Oh. Hmm. It's fine for you. I don't see nothing. Huh. That's weird. Let me stop recording and see if it makes a difference. Oh. Um... My GPU is at 100%. That's weird. <laughs> Why is it at 100? Interesting. So, yeah, is he a widower? So, there's this channel I used to watch, and, uh, it was the son, like he was an adult, who was documenting his mom's uh, experiment experience with dementia from, oh, it was so interesting to watch. I'm sure they're still up. I don't remember. It was his first name twice was the name of the channel. It was like Tom Tom or something. Does anyone remember? And uh, 
yeah, my take it was super interesting to watch in real time, and she eventually died. Um, spoil, <laughs> I shouldn't, it's terrible, I shouldn't say that. Uh, but yeah, there's there was just that level where she was clearly no longer, uh, a, she was this just shell of a person, and you essentially it seemed like he was grieving her death before she died, but it's worse because she's there and she's looking at you in the eyes. Um, but it's a different person, it's just it's like they revert to is they just become like a meat sack. That's a terrible, that's a horrible thing to say about people with dementia, but right it's it's considered one of the worst diseases isn't it i would rather just die of anything else i'd rather die in a car crash than get dementia i think so he's going to be like psychologically tortured by this and also be really damn horny and he's talking to this girl who i don't know and his mind is probably cute i'm just saying that in any other situation i feel like it would not be in a it would be an affair but i don't know about this Anyway, yeah, here's the... So, see, we're back here. I just picked up the can, and now there's fireworks again, which is weird. So I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, <laughs> okay, let me pause the music. As much as I love that album, I can't stop listening to it. I mean, the... <laughs> it, it's true, right? <laughs> Thank you, Conch. I appreciate that. Let me know in the chat. Do you want dementia or do you want to just die suddenly? And don't forget to... It's <laughs> my call to action today. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I... Uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Oh, someone someone's has listening written in. down what we said to each other, have been saying. Wait, this is what I said at the start of the stream. This is what I used to do. I would listen in on radio calls as that a kid. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk... Because it's public, right? You can't. It's not, not a private radio line. ...to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry. So you almost all rather die. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Hilarious. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh, God. Buckaroo. I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. But he didn't take my radio. What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Cold cocked? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, the north I'll start shore. That way now. God oh, so I have to get back to the lake. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? Me and I have proximity chat on in PUBG. I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three Four or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who.
What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? But it's being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. I don't think it's that disturbing that someone was taking notes of the conversation. Like, I don't know. It, it Look, it's creepy, if, especially if they attack you afterwards. I'm sure it would feel violating, so. Oops, I didn't mean to throw the note on the ground. I'm trying to put it back in. Oh, I can just do this. Oh, I don't have to read his handwriting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. I forgot that everything else got attacked, too. The The fact that someone was listening in was like... Um, yeah, okay. And now the note is floating. <laughs> Great. All right, touche. Well, I didn't think the girls got attacked. I just assumed that they got lost. And I thought it, yeah, I thought the girls actually did the, um, cut the wire. Yeah, the girls did cut the wire. They left the note. Unless that was, yeah, some sort of... Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What the fuck is going on out here? Imagine how much of a Whatever pain this would have been to install, like with all those rocks. There's no way you'd oh, drilling down. I've had to research a lot of fence stuff so I can build Someone up. Someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. I don't think I can get in. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. You whiny little... I don't know how long it, I can it's so short. It until notices. <laughs> Just climb it. If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys the control, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Ruby River. Oh, it's so far. There's no fast travel, is there? Is there seriously no way for me to get in here? Let me guess, the code is 1234. All right, gamers, back we go, I guess.
I mean, it's not that. Eh, it's kind of fun. I think I go this way. Have you read scary stories of people doing this job who find stuff moved around in the room when they come back or see things watching them through windows? Uh, no, that sounds pretty interesting, though. I feel like that's kind of just expected, though, if people come across stuff, like, to creep you out. Just, I don't know, like most people, the far majority of people that come across someone in the woods is going to be scared. So the less scared you are, you can just take the upper hand. It generally speaking, like, of course, there's going to be people out there to harm you sometimes. But most people are e and animals are equally as scared as you are. If not more so. I guess I haven't come across people. I haven't really explored woods at night, but during the day, yeah, people just kind of avoid you. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. <clears throat> well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? The government. You know, people. As opposed to what? Aliens? Mad scientists? The CIA? Wild separatists? The, the fucking Illuminati? Come on! Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Wait, do I need to go? No, no, this is right. And then I'll turn right to the medicine wheel. I guess, like, when I, like, coming across people, like, in urban areas is more scary to, to me versus in the woods. I don't know why, though. I guess because it's more often that people are up to no good in urban areas. Like in cities or yet, ghettos. I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Maybe I just haven't had scary enough. I mean, I haven't really had scary woods experiences. Maybe he'd enjoy it. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies taking notes, walkie-talkies. Whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it yeah, is. Yeah, that's the whole getting knocked out thing. All right, that's the difference is I did get knocked out. If I got knocked out IRL, I would be kind of terrified. But in the game, I'm kind of curious why he didn't take my, my stuff. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, D. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, like anyone you come across in the woods doesn't want to be. They would, yeah, I don't know. Big tree. Find firefighters in scout camp.
I don't actually see any smoke now. Oh, there it is. Wait. Yeah. Almost there. Are we gonna get to actually see real people? I haven't seen another person the whole time. I guess if they're making themselves known like this guy, then you gotta be concerned. Is this the right camp? I thought it was... I guess this is the scout camp. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Um, okay. Come on, you can jump it. I can get across here. I'm not a big fan of the soundtrack. I'll do any more chair straps challenges. I do want to do more challenges I'm though. I'm still looking for a way across the ravine. Well, there must be one. I mean, the firefighters made it from that camp to Ruby River. Can you give me a hint, Miss Delilah? <laughs> Why can't I find it? It's got to be this way. This looks pressable. I've already gone through all this. All right, if someone wants to say where, where I get in, that's fine. I don't want to waste too much time trying to find the entrance. I'm cute, but look like a deep fake simultaneously. Well, that's good. That means that I don't have to take accountability for what I say. I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like that's related. Like I just gotta knock it over. 
like throw a rope around it, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was that so hard to find? I think I'm going to turn the motion blur all the way off. I'm actually getting a little bit nauseous playing. Nope, that's worse. Oh god, that's worse. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's a Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh wait. I'm gonna pause it so I can put the chickens away, and I'll sneak to pee. I've been holding it. I don't know what's up with the connection. Oh yeah, my, wait, let me see. Is it back?
Hello. Um, I'm overclocking my GPU <laughs> to try and fix it. I wonder why this game uses so much power. Let's see how much. Yeah, Firewatch needs 87%. Hold on, let me lower the graphics. This game is from 2016. That's older than my graphics card, isn't it? Oh, I didn't see you saying lower the graphics. I don't want to. <laughs> Why can I play PUBG on Ultra, but I can't play Firewatch on Ultra? It's still using 90%. Eighty five percent. Okay, all right, 66%. I put it on low. Um, what's, I don't know what my RAM speed is. Ethan probably knows, honestly. My RAM is fine though. It's at 43% usage, 13 gigs out of 32. Yeah, I'm not recording it, I stopped it. 88, it's back up to 88. Why is it, um, Why would it? <laughs> Four dollars and ninety nine cents from Radiant Kratos. What time's the stream ending? <laughs> Thank you, Radiant. I appreciate the super chat as I try and figure this out. Uh, thanks. Also, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm just streaming till I finish the game, so probably never. Based on my current computer, it's at eighty. Okay, so why is he using so much of my GPU power while the game isn't even? It's just sitting there. I shouldn't need to restart. I saw the graphics change in real time, and it looks terrible now. Not really. It, it still looks good. But... Whoops, I missed it. Great. Um, here, let me pull this up on my second monitor. 90% still. Uh, yeah, I mean, the frame rate's higher, but it's got, like, a weird filter on it. Do you see that on the grass? It looks like you're looking, it looks like I'm looking through, like, a window screen. Wait, there's nothing here. No. Okay, I think we're okay now. Oh, it looks bad. Well, we'll see if this runs. Anyway, when I was outside, I pretended that someone was taking notes of my stream. Well, well the stream's public. And then beat me in the side, in the back of my head, and I was more scared. So now I understand. I had to do a little bit of exposure therapy to understand. 
Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. That say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Should I take it? Hello, Sylvester. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, um... You're not. I'm infinitely complex. I think they're studying me. Because of what happened to you before. Everything with Julia. What? Yeah. Maybe they're studying the effects. That's not what I was thinking. Like but okay. Grief. Grief when you have no other choice but to be alone with your thoughts. Okay, no trauma so dumping now. Set up an entire site just for you? Maybe. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I don't think they're studying. I think that's a stretch, but alright. I guess you get paranoid when you're out in the woods alone and... Oh, man. I have to go all the way back. <laughs> now I understand why the Let's Plays are videos, so that they can cut all of this out. And also cut out the man's dick in the beginning, because I don't know why that was there. Still can't cross here. Great. Also, my tummy kind of hurts. I drank too much energy drink. I should have watered it down. How did I get through? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um, it was like some rocks. Oh wait, it was right here. Wait. How do I get out now? Also, the game is making me nauseous. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past oh, the axe. Yeah. Big brain. Big brain, I would have been here all day. I was right about that log, though. So, I've got like a medium-sized brain. So I have to go back to the camp. I've never watered it down, but I've heard the recommendation from an acquaintance. I keep holding an alt to try and look around while I run. <laughs> tree, tree. You water down your milk to make it last longer. I mean, I guess that's kind of what skim milk is. Well, it's not, but similar, I guess. The tree was like kind of far down on the left side. Whoa, big brain. I 
I have a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Oh, so it is an encrypted line. Okay, now I'm disturbed. I thought it was just unencrypted, this whole... I feel like, the... I don't know. Okay. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thank God I don't have to walk across the whole map again. <laughs> Look at these dude's legs. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. Was I supposed to not call? The big fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. Cottonwood. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Cottonwood Creek? Yeah. Man, they love making me hide. Oh, wait, no, that's pretty close. Never mind. So it's south. Oh, I should not be yawning. I'm not tired. Whoa, the big fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is. Yeah, Henry kind of is just me. Dry, slow. You yawn when you play as him. <laughs> A little bit horny. Attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Didn't the firefighters leave? Um, which way do I go? So I'm looking south. Yeah, this way. I'm getting better with the map. Yeah, I guess this, uh, my GP is now at 80% instead of 99. It just, of all of, of my computer's peripherals, I guess I would expect the processor to have issues before the GPU. The processor is at 50.
I always put a description of the game in the in the description of the video, so. But it's like a little mystery of as a firewatch man. But it's like a ranger. I'm not a ranger, but Ron, really wish the powers that could be issue us really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck, but most of the time I prefer to keep pen and paper. My sister keeps leaving messages at the man office. At the main office. Oh my god, I can't read. But I don't think... Okay. Good to know. Toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> I thought my CPU kind of sucked. It's just, I feel like I've had it for so long. But at least it's not a Gen 2 i5. Okay, so I go west. Wait. West. North, south, north, north, south, east, west. Is that right? Yeah. All right, almost here. Almost there. Aren't I here? Did I go too far? I'm literally at the creek. What is he doing? No, oh, he's not even in shot. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five, six, seven, eight. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Wait, so she was just here, so we could have met. It's probably like a don't meet your heroes, like she's probably ugly or something. Ah. Bonk. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? I don't think she's in on We it. need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is 
just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Please don't make me walk all the way to the gate. <sighs> We're walking all the way to the gate. I'm so impatient. Why am I like this? Hello, Luke. Lukey. just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire Oops. conversation. Lukey, stop spamming. You're annoying. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need well, to get to the bottom of this. No, no, he doesn't have any evidence. Unless he was recording it, right? I don't, if he was recording it, I don't think, uh, I don't, I think the teams might be dead. If he was recording it, I don't, he wouldn't have a reason to take notes, right? Am I just being optimistic? What the hell? How did I end up over here? Oh, I have that axe. Never mind. We're good, we're good. Alright, it's picking up now. I was almost gonna stop playing because I was bored, but it's becoming interesting. <laughs> finally. <laughs> so, thanks for sticking it out with me. If I can find the trail. I'm lost. Oh, this works. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it an could be an elk. Or oh, an elk, not Ebe. It could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, heck. Oh, fuck. I've been bamboozled. How about you don't do that again? Yeah, moose or something. Sylvester is he keeps scratching on something okay we go a little west and a little, a little north attach rope oh that rope
I don't know. Yeah, there he is. He's he's up to no good. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he's just needing. No problem. Way. Is it rappel or repel? Because I, I thought it was repel, but wouldn't that be one P? open the gate should i try to fix or hide this no screw it okay then i got an achievement b plot okay i got stung by a b okay is is that <laughs> it yeah did, did it hurt yes kind of Okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Wapiti Station personnel. If you're trying to reach Dr. Si Simmons, he's on site August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of someone else. Cat. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunction, or violations should be reported. I close that. Nope. See anybody around? Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower, and they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. There are people here. Well, I have an axe if I need it. Come on. I mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Hello, Kayla. Like what? dishes and stuff on metal legs there are wires all over the place I don't know I'm not really up on high tech
Wait, were there computers in the 80s? 89? I don't actually know. Like personal computers. I'm gonna give away my location or something. I shouldn't turn that on. Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I mean, if I found a, a a big fence in the woods with, I would I wouldn't really think anything of it. I would just assume that's some park thing. But I guess since I'm an employee, I should have been told. I wonder if my yawns make any of you yawn. I'm in their main tent. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. What? Subject, beacon, frequency, sex, social role. Frequent departure from two forks. Avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation. <laughs> Conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think so. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? I have no idea. Maybe another couple that's out here? Do you have any ideas? It's just you and me, Henry. Yeah, I know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. What's the barometric pressure? Can someone remind me? Is it, like, weather? And the feeling when unre unreciprocated desire for copulation. Sad. <laughs> How do I pick my little machine back up? Wait, it must be in the tent. I thought it was maybe outside. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? Wait, I already said that. It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Oh. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> yeah, I don't like that, Chief. Guilt ridden. Are you shitting me? I really am, Harry. What? Harry, what is Harry. it? There's a folder of reports here. Henry M, age 39. Comprehensive Explorer. Oh, okay, so this is actually based on what I've been doing. So I'm a comprehensive explorer that does not keep to the path. I'm prone to anger. I feel guilty and I'm forthright. Wait, that's literally me, okay. Subject is fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. So it's not like Tron music. Subject may be aware of tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Susceptibility to manipulation, 9 out of 10. I would like to think that's not true, but... I'm sure everyone susceptible to manipulation thinks that. What do they say? 
their assessments about the two of us. Delilah, 43. Um, gonna, yeah, never mind. I was going to make a milk joke, but she has no kids. Reliable, considering alcoholism. <laughs> Observant, charismatic, selfish. Skewed perception of personal history. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers, despite long-term partner, Javier. Susceptibility and manipulation, three. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is- Wait, what? there was? Where does it say what stuff about Julia? What does it say about, about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out. I don't! I, I didn't! This is insane! I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down! <laughs> Think about it. Worst case scenario... <laughs> yeah. Fuck them. Okay. <laughs> ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario. A firefighter oh, that's not the one I meant to pick. We Whoops. started, and we live with that on our conscience for the rest of our lives. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Worst case. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, I'm so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow it's we not letting me run. To do. Yeah, it finally picked up after three hours. Javier. Whoa. Okay, I'm sure Javier. Uh, Henry, I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake that is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? What? No. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the oh, hell this? happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Uh, what I was saying is Javier probably does not have dimension. I already said that. Therefore, it is an affair. On her end. <laughs> Peanut butter. Biff, my favorite. Bonk. Piece of sauce. Actually, I don't want to turn on the light. I don't want them to see me. Is there even a lock? There's no lock on it. Wait, question marks. Oh, who's listening to us? Tracking device. Wedding ring. Oh, I took it off. Mm, it lets me put it on, but I'm not going to. And now it's on the ground.
Oh, my turtle. <laughs> Mayhem Jr. Wait, he's, a, he's living in a cardboard box. <laughs> All right, Mayhem, I don't think that's the best husbandry. Come with me, sir. Oh, I put him in my backpack again. That's not what I meant to do. This receiver just picked something up. Lag, you say? Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk. <laughs> Good plan. Uh, no, don't, don't do that. that. <clears throat> I know. I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but you gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, you're right, D. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision making inhibited right now. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or. I could not worry, and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any <clears throat> proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll ay, just ay. leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. I turned off my radio? Oh, 